because there's a gap there. Robson's over committing to block the, li the line off. There's a little gap there that he can play cutbacks and the, the strikers have got to make sure that, that that near post front run has got to be the one that they, they get because the ball can come to them. It's Nisbet! Yeah! Oh, he's measured this one! Yeah! And Hibernian are going about healing those semi-final wounds. They lead 1-0. I said it was all going to be about who could defend the best. Both forward lines are good, they're productive, and it's Liam Smith. He doesn't deal with the first long ball. It's a mid hit, a miss hit pass from Ryan Porteous. He heads it up in the air, then he can't recover. It's all about the composure of Jackson Irvine, and then it's about Kevin Nisbet. He's been in terrific form all season long. He's instinctive, he wants to get a shot off. The minute he lifts his head and he has that little bit of space, the quality just to side foot it. He doesn't try and get through the back of the ball. He just calmly slots it into the bottom corner. And you've got to say that is a top quality finish from a top quality young man. Newell and Halberg do manage to combine to find Boyle Nisbet. Boyle, Deutsch is on his way, he looked offside, but Deutsch does find the net. Christian Deutsch with a Bernie in second goal. They're embracing the favourites tag this time. And they look to be on their way to a Scottish Cup final. Well, it did look offside, Ronnie, I've got to say, but what a move this is. Scintillating stuff, and he is offside. What a bitter pill to swallow for Dundee United. But it's a touch of class, the move as a whole. The link-up play with that front three and the finish from Deutsch. A goal right out the top drawer.